What's up, it's What Entertainment TV. We're here at Glam Nightclub in Cardiff. We're gonna check out r and superstar Lloyd. So let's see what he's saying. What's up, man? You cool? Yeah, man. Yeah, well, uh, did you have a good flight or anything? No, we drove. You drove? Yeah, from Atlanta. From... Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we drove. I got one of those cars that turned into a boat. Like so James Bond stuff. There you go, man. That's crazy. There you go. Uh, so you're looking forward to tonight, man? Yeah, all the time. I've been here before. The last time it was crazy. Okay. Yeah, we uh, actually came here afterwards just to kind of cool down, chill for a second, get some drinks. Yeah. You know, kiss some babies. Uh, it's packed, man. So the, um, the UK crowd, has, uh, I'm sure you get asked this quite a lot, how does that compare to, to say, the US crowd? Uh, well, I've been here for a few years now. Uh, I've had the honor of being invited a few times over the years. Uh, I can honestly say that I feel like one of you know the, the more American artists that have actually witnessed this emergence of uh, hip hop here in the UK. Uh, I always feel like it's always tastefully done. Um, I think that you know, obviously. You guys don't get the respect you deserve. Well, I, well you know, in my negative words, but um, I think you know certain people can make them breakthroughs like Tiny and stuff. And every time I come here, I always keep my ear to the streets. You know, whether it's uh, Labyrinth or uh, Chip or uh, Tiny or you know whoever the case. Um, I always just uh, I always like to kind of. Um, indulge myself with UK culture as much as possible. I really respect the scene. I love the music. Um, the girls, they gotta work on the, the ass shaking a little bit, but they're getting there. It's just getting there. It's sometimes a struggle for the, the UK market to kind of break through and, and make moves over in America. Um, like you mentioned, Tiny is like, doing quite well at the moment. Mm -hmm. and, um, so do you feel that there's a something needed for, for the American market to, to accept the UK more, or do you think it's just a case of, of time that will just take its course? I just think Americans are a lot more, uh, you know, selfish at times. <laughs> um, I think uh, hip-hop is so integrated, it's more integrated than it's ever been, so naturally we continue to cross boundaries. Um, you know, as far as genre is concerned, um, and I just think that, you know, the world has been dancing to a semi-different beat from us, uh, and now that's starting to invade, you know, our culture more, and I just think naturally in time, uh, you know, everyone will uh, pretty much be accepted everywhere. So do you feel with the, uh, the general kind of like change and progression of music, how it's going and things like that with yourself? And um, being able to adapt and keep current with everything that's changing in the music industry because it's moving so fast now, especially with the different types of uh, experimental music that people it's are getting. Moving, and it's moving really fast in all different directions. Yeah, so I, I really love it. You know, I, I think um, you know, part of me, um, you know, I grew up recording on reels, uh, so I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the digital music mm -hmm. uh, because I just feel like it's cheesy, it's corny, it's easy. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I think um, it's one thing to cut corners and it's another thing to use the tools that you have uh, to make even better music. So sometimes I hear stuff that is really good, sometimes I hear stuff that's really bad. I'm sure it's always been like that, It'll probably always be like that, uh, but no complaints, you get no complaints out of me. So is there anything that people should be looking out for, for, for forthcoming from yourself and everything like that? I'm getting ready to release King of Hearts in the UK. Uh, it's gonna have different tracks from the ones in the states. Uh, it's gonna be arranged differently, so it's gonna be um, more suitable for you know the, the musical climate here. Uh, I just released a single that only uh, will be in Europe called "Do It Again." Uh, features my homie Chip. Okay. Uh, I also am coming back to to UK in two weeks to perform with my band, uh, Five Piece Band. You know, drummer and bass. But I background guitar, keys, me on the keys, so um, I'm looking forward to that live music experience here because this is one of the first actual live uh, music experience cities I've ever you know, uh, been to, not Cardiff, but London, I, I saw a uh, wine house, Shepherd's Bush once, and it was amazing. Um, 
I uh, just released a single with Wale, I guess he's on it, just tried it, and um, man, I'm just uh, looking forward to coming back, you know, to me time ago. Awesome, great. Well, it's good to see you here again, and, and good to see you um, performing and doing what you like, obviously, on the game as well. Thanks, man. Good, good. Thanks, man.